heads deep. Everybody line up. Stays up. Mugs up. Be still, be silent. Just focus on your breath. Listen to your breath. Breathe in for the four, hold for two, out for eight. Big breath, fill up your belly. Sit perfectly still, please. Focus on your mukso. Thank you. Just like at the dojo. Don't move. Be still. Move the belly in and out. Nothing else. Let the breath move in. Let the breath move out. Breathe in for four. Hold for two. Out for eight. doing great today. Circle those arms. Getting outside because it's nice. Getting some fresh air. Getting some vitamin D and sunshine. Oh, we all got some good sunburns the other day. My kids, everybody, we were outside doing all of our chores, getting the yard ready. Twisting, 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 twisting. Good work. Let the arms be loose like rope. Good, just take the left foot up on the toes and start rotating the ankle. Ich, ni, san, chi, go, ruk, sichi, hachi, ku, ju. Other way, ich, other side, ni, san, chi, go, ruk, sichi, hachi, ku, and you. Good. Circle your knees. Each knee. San. Shi. Go. Luku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Other way. Each knee. San. Shi. Go. Luku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Back and forth. Each knee. San. Shi. Go. Luku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Good. Circle your hips. Each. Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ruk, Sich, Hach, Ku, Ju. Switch, other way. Circling, Ich, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ruk, Sich, and Hach. Good, bring your knee up. Switch, bring the other knee up. And out to the side, with the roundhouse kick, heel and knee at the same height. Make sure the heel and the knee are the same height. And another one. Hold on to it. Bring the heel up by grabbing onto the ankle with your arm. And lift that knee up to above your belt. Good, and down. Good, excellent. Just kick the leg back. Five times. Five times. Two, and one. Other leg, okay. swing it back. Five times. Two more. And last one. Good, circle the hips again. Other way. Excellent. Swing it forwards. Five times. Hi. And switch legs when you're done. Very good. Circle those hips again. All right, let's get 
it nice and warmed up, nice and loose. Good. All right, flicking. Middle, front kick. Edge. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go, make sure your hip goes right over top of the foot you're standing on and kick, All right? Don't just pick your foot up and kick. Make sure you move your weight straight over top of the foot you're gonna stand on and then throw your kick. So set your foot down natural and then all your weight shifts over onto that leg and kick. Natural, move the weight over by moving your hip over over the ankle, throw your kick, set your foot down, move the hip over, bring the foot up, kick. Drop down, slide the foot in, kick. So a little sliding foot technique, like Sudiyashi sliding. All right, let's do it with some ki, okay? All right, uh, five on the right and five on the left. Us. Okay, so 10 kicks in, to in total. All right, ready? And itch. Yeah. Knee. Yeah. Hop. Yeah. She. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Hop. Yeah. Hunch. Kick. Jip. Yeah. Finish your 10. Good. Move those hips. All right, a little bounce, let's go. Okay, put the left foot out. Just get your jab. Let's get that front hand out. Loosen up the elbow. Yeah, throw the fist. Just like this. Get that front hand, because that means you keep. Now lengthen that stance. Go longer, bring it back. Go longer, bring it back. Go longer, bring it back. Go longer. Bring it back. Go longer. Bring it back. Now bounce. Bounce it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go long. One, and back. Two, and back. Three, and back. Four, and back. Five, and back. Six, and back. Seven, and back. Eight, and back. Nine, and back. Ten, and back. When you come back, keep the hands up in the ready, Jiu Kamai position, ready to block anything that may be coming. Okay? So, very good. Looking at the, uh, the other side, same thing. You've got that lead hand and leg going out. Okay? Get that bounce. Switching arms. Loosen up that elbow. Get that elbow nice and loose. Move it in and out nice and straight. Nice and long. One. Come back. Keep the hands up. Two. Three. Back foot flat on the floor. Press into the ground. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bounce it out. Good. Step into it nice and long once again. One. Come back. Keep your guard up. Two. Keep that back foot down. Go long. Stretch it out. We're gonna want to feel that back leg really stretch and work that front leg nice and low. Try to get the top of your thigh uh, level like a table or a chair when you drop into your stance. Okay? And then come back. Then you're like a sparring stance now. So not, not a natural stance, not a full size front stance, just kind of a comfortable in between. So come to Judachi. Then explode and long stretch. Right and back. And back. Oh. And keep the guard up. Four. And keep the guard up. Five. Keep 
Keep the guard up. Six. And the guard up. Seven. And keep the guard up. Eight. Keep that guard up. Nine. Hey! Keep that guard up. Ten count. Good job. How you on? Head circle the hips. Excellent. So we're going to work on uh, the use of your hip as uh, everyone can use the lesson. It doesn't matter your rank. It doesn't matter your level. Uh, how to apply your hip and the different ways to use your hip. Um, so we have uh, lifting the hip up and down. So this is with your legs, right? So if I drop my hip from a low position and then I come up, just like when you pick up anything off the ground. So there's a power use of the hips. Now, there's also when I'm up and I drop down, such as a uh, ground and pound punch or something, yeah? So from a high to low position. So I'm gonna let gravity do the work and I'll let my, my hip drop. So dropping the hip and then coming from a low position up with the hip. So there's two ways that we can maneuver the body and use the hip and develop our power, okay? So the next, you guys know, is our rotation and the, the movement in the hips. So moving the hips, we have this shake or rattle, as I like to call it, where we move the hips back and forth and we rattle the hips. So get your hips rattling, please. And it's just like when an engine turns on on a car, it goes and it rumbles and rattles. The more powerful the engine, the more the, the car shakes and, and rattles. So the more you shake and rattle, the more power you're going to get under those hips. So really, right, get those hips just shaking. Try to keep your belt nice and level. You don't want to see your belt going up and down like scales, like this. You just want to see it turning like in a nice straight line. Like So you don't want to see it, uh, I can't really do it, but yeah, you don't want to see it doing this and different things like that. You don't want to be wagging your bum, okay? Just shake, 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 okay? So we have that rotation of the hip, okay? So we have two types of rotation to get that shake, right? We have rotation that's forward, showman, and then we have rotation that goes back, hamni, or the side position of the body, right? So when the hip's traveling forward to the front, showman, and then when the hip's traveling back, hamni, showman, hamni, showman, hamni, showman, back fist, ulerken, so ulerken. And it goes out like that jab, and maybe, maybe you could turn it into the jab too, because you can get a little more reach when you jab, so the back fist, and then wah, maybe you leap, leap into it with that as well. So it could be here, oh, and then you leap a little further. Okay, that's the, that's the plus of learning how to do the exercise prior. So here, okay, so we got that yakazuki, hips closed, back fist, turn the hip to the side. Hey, knee, sun, she, go, ru, sitch, Hatch. Ku. Ju. Hey! Good job. So make sure you give yourself a little bit of room here. Okay? So we have this Yagazuki. We have this rotating of the hip back with the Uraken Uki. Uraken Zuki. Uraken Uchi. Strike. It could be the block. It could be any one of those things. So it can be used either way. So uh, don't view it as just as a strike with a back fist. You block with this, you can use to hit things out of the way. So uh, think of it as just that, that hand coming out, right? Get that hand out. Now from here, step all the way forward and get that nice long position we did with that lunge. Good job. And then come back in a full step. Okay, so we're gonna go Yakazuki, Odaken, Odazuki. And come back. Very good. So. Sliding the feet back like you're threading the needle. Make sure that foot comes through the middle. Sweeping feet inside. Okay? All right, so Yagazuki. Try to stretch it out. Keep your back straight. Lord, I can. Reach. Reach with it. Hinge your body at the hip and at the elbow. Reach with it. And then step. A lot of ground and distance can be covered, meaning you can stay further back. That's called safety. The further you can stay away and fire weapons. 
much like uh, the difference between having a high-powered rifle or a smaller one. You can fire from farther away, right? So let's use our stance like the rifle to make a powerful weapon. So we have to stretch and use the leg power for that. It's a one, stretch it out. Good, from there, two, three. Stretch it out again. Good, so reverse punch. Back fist, lunge punch. Okay, Joe, chew down here, Joe down here, and it could be Joe down or chew down there, but I'd go right to Joe down. Because I'm going to knock their hands down with this one. I'm going to use that back fist to come in and run interference, go through their guard, go through the front hand, even make contact to the head with it. All right? And then as I sweep and brush down their guard, boom, I, I bring in the sweeper. Okay? The sweeper. Clean them up. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three, so. One, two, three, go. One, two, and come One, two, ah! Okay, try the other leg. Yagazuki. Bordokan, reach and hinge. Good, then step in, lunge. Yagazuki. Bordokan. Oizuki. Combine. Bringing that back leg with you after the back fist. Chase them down. Use that back fist to go in and grab a hold for just a second or two. But let's go second and a half, right in the middle. Okay? So it's one and a half second. Get your hands on them and fire! to the side, touch the glove, whatever, wherever it may be, right? Just kind of just try to pass the hand and move past it, all right? Uh, everybody know how to re-sign in? Everybody come to the screen, we'll have a quick break. Everybody come to the screen, please. Okay, good. So we're just going to re-sign in because the meeting's ending right now. I'll have it fixed up for next week. I'll have the full version. Okay, I just ran out of time. I didn't have time to get it again done today. Uh, I'm homeschooling my kids and everything else as well. My wife works full-time all during the day, so um, just trying to do it. So I'll get to it. <laughs> okay, so uh, listen, let's re-sign in and we'll just pick up where we left off, okay? So uh, back, backspace, rejoin the meeting. That's all you got to do. See you in a minute. Fast as fingers. That's you guys. Excellent. 
mute. Just make sure you come in and check off your uh, check off your microphones when you re-sign in. Excellent. Just waiting for one more. All right. So uh, this is an exercise of kumite. It's an exercise of sparring. It's an exercise of uh, punching someone or blocking someone else's punch and counter punching on them. Um, so this is something uh, we have to kind of practice if we don't have someone at home to practice with. Some of you do. Some of you have partner work available. Sam and Jack, you guys are lucky. Uh, Sasha and Ethan, um, the Dowlings, all uh, even even Alexander and Robert. Um, you guys all and, and Alessandra, just pull one of your sisters in and headlock them and stuff and, 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 and give them gi chokes and stuff and, and you'll get your practice. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sweetie. Um, but yeah, you've got your mom. You, you guys can be practicing together. You guys are all real active and whatnot, so you could be uh, doing some of this stuff where you'd be preparing yourself for your test. So you need someone to throw a punch at you so you can practice your block. Um, you need someone to throw a kick at you so you can practice your blocks. Um, there is no replacement for that. There really there isn't. There, there's no way to replace that other than to have or make something come at you and you pretend it. Um, if you have swinging bags in your house, these swinging bags, you can practice all of your blocks on these bags. Right? You practice all of them, boom, like this, boom, like this, boom, like this, here. And you just use them all percussively. And that's the way you would use it as an impact, as a weapon. And uh, when, you, when you use all of your blocks in this way, uh, you will rediscover uh, the universal movement and that it actually applies in all things. So the five biomechanical movements or the furious five movements that we have, one, two, go with me. One, two, we'll start at the top, work our way down. Three, four, hey! Now, this pretty much covers the uh, movement that we are capable of doing with the upper arms. All right, let's go. One, uh, a raise, out to the side, and a squeeze. A cross from the inside, down and out. A cross from the inside, low, in and out, across from the inside, all the way out. Well, not so much. You don't want to leave your arms extended because therefore you're a little bit more vulnerable to be pulled or tugged. When your arms are strong is when they're here. Your arms are strongest right around uh, this position. You can feel it when your arms are here. So everybody give it that position and feel where it's strong in, your, um, in the arm and in your back. So when you're doing this move, it should be your back. Don't go shoot though all the way out into the shoulders like this. If you send your elbow too high, what happens is you end up putting it into your shoulder and you can actually damage the shoulder. So what you want to do is think of it's all pulling like, um, like starting a lawnmower, starting a chainsaw or something like that. All of it is is all pulling motion um, in your lat. So you just finish it all through your, the wing of your back. So it is called the crane for a reason because it's the exact same thing. This is called your wing. Your lats are called your wings. It's, 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 a, it's an anatomical slang that we have for the latissimus dorsi, the, the big back muscle that we all have. And when you see bodybuilders that have them, they get that triangle shape and they flex like this and they have this big flap that comes out here and it looks like, uh, you know, one of those flying squirrels. So if you want to be a flying squirrel, work on those lats. I'm just kidding. Hey, it doesn't change whether you're here or not. I'm still going to make jokes. I hope you know that, right? <laughs> All right? And uh, it's getting pretty close to dinner time. So, uh, yeah, the squirrel joke, well, it's kind of like Kentucky Fried Chicken these days. I can't go and get Kentucky Fried Chicken, but there's an awful lot of squirrels running around my property. So, hey, push comes to shove, I might have to have some barbecue. <laughs> Thanks for laughing, Ethan. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? All right, gang. So, hey, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Uh, 
chest. So really squeeze through the back, make sure it's solid. You don't want to open the shoulders up too much, right? You want to protect your shoulder. Your shoulder is a, uh, it's, a it's one of your velocity joints. I mean, you really want to keep it tight. You don't want to, you don't want to have that thing opening up. Um, just like a four by four, you don't want to hit really, really big holes or really big bumps, right? You, you can handle it, but you want to still drive it like it's on the rope. So your shoulders are, are in that way. They're the stabilizers, they're the shock absorbers. They're where your wheels are and stuff underneath the car. So think about that. You want to keep those wheels in underneath the car. So don't overextend your shoulders. Don't raise your shoulder up. Always keep it down in the seat. Your shoulder has a seat, so I want you to discover where that seat is. When you discover where the seat of your shoulder is, you'll also discover how to get the wings to come out. So drop your shoulders down, bring your elbows in, and then out. Feel that flex in your back. Notice that now most of you aren't going to have pronounced or big ones, but do you feel the muscles in your back tightening up? And it should feel like you're squeezing your spine and giving it a little bit of a squeeze with the muscles in your back. Okay. So, if your elbows come up too much, it's not going to work. You're going to go too high in the back. I need you to use the big muscles. Keep your elbows down low by your ribs, and then fan, fan out. Everybody go one, two, three, fan the arms. Four, this is your knife hand. Five, six, seven, eight. This is gongkaku as well. This is he and yang then as well. Just close the hands, right? No different, no different. Same movement. Same exercise or development of the body, if you think about it. It's just all we're doing is purely developmental. As the more we move our body through all the ways we can move it, the better our body moves. And then learn to master the way those movements are. You get better handling, control. It's becoming like a race car driver with your own body. You have to learn how to drive it like the race car if you want it to perform like one. You can't uh, take race cars to the 4x4 track and you therefore can't race the 4x4 against the race car. So um, there is what you need to train for. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to do? You want to go fast? You're, are you competing for uh, a tournament, which is not the case today? But uh, what is it you guys want to maintain or do you want to grow? I, I think you should grow. I've been training more now than ever um, because I have all the free time to do it as many of you have a little bit more free time. Uh, maybe I train the same because I'm still, maybe I train less, because I was here uh, a little bit more than I am now. But uh, I still I still make excuses to go outside and hit kata, or I go to the basement, or I make space and I, and I go and I, and I train, uh, even for spurts in the day. Five minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes. Go out and do three kata. Go out and do five kata. It takes five minutes to do that, okay? Skip. He and go then. Everybody follow along, okay? We start off like he and Sundan with an Uchiuki to the left, and we throw that Yakazuki. Now, bring your right foot up to your left foot, and come up and do a hook punch with your left arm. Now, when you do your hook punch, keep your elbow in front of your shoulder, and then your wrist drops from your elbow. So it looks a little bit of a down, down slide there. Now, that's the first three moves. So we go Uchiuki, we sink, we drop into the supporting leg on the right, the left leg goes out to the left with an Uchiuki block with the left arm. Yakazuki. Hook punch. Bring your feet all the way together, just like it is in Hien Sundan. Okay? And again, to this side, repeat the same sequence of three. The Uchi, the Yakazuki, and the Kagazuki. Okay. Now, one, two, Three. One, two, three. I want that time and it's bam, bam. Slow. Bam. Everybody see that? Okay, good. That's what you want, okay? So, right into that position. Keep the other hand on your hip, please, Alexander. Gotta keep that hand on the hip. Keep those feet together. My feet are completely together, see? Look on the floor, okay? Good, now, right foot forward, and back stance, and it's reinforced block, the Moroto Uki. Now, from here, we go next is right from chest line, so right around, right around the, the level of your chest, right into that armpit. Come right from there and do your X, low X block, both fists closed, 
all right? With the left leg forward, the left hand is on the bottom, right hand on top. Excellent. Now from there, the front foot is going to adjust back slightly. Okay, I'm gonna put myself here so you can see better. So from here, the front foot slides back a little bit, about an inch, inch and a half or so, or the length of your big toe. Okay, take one, one measurement of your own big toe and slide your foot back that much. Hands are up. Now, movement 11, take your hands and rotate left hand on top and make a burger. Okay, uh, microphone is on. Whose microphone's on there? Please turn on that microphone, please. The one in the corner there, the black one. Okay, the black screen there in the corner. All right, so from here, you need to go push hand, and that is like a punching jam. So go with the left hand, go one, and then quickly step forward. Aye! Just like we did earlier, that lunging punch. And it's two down, not the face, just go to the stomach. And make sure your hip is completely squeezing max to the front, closed. Now, you're gonna pin the back heel on the floor, so kind of point at that back heel, look at it on your left leg, look at that back foot, and we're gonna spin on the heel as if it was a, a little screw, okay? And I'm gonna let my heel just kind of screw into the ground a little bit, right? So I'm gonna go like this, and come around into a kibidachi in a straight line. All right, let's try that again. So I'll start with your right foot forward, and middle punch, just like in the end shonen. Good, now, Spin on the back foot, so lift your front. This is completely different from Han and Taikyoku Shonen. You have to adjust now. This is a whole new footwork. It's a whole new move. For any of our uh, lower belts, uh, this is a, uh, a blue uh, and up level. So uh, that doesn't mean you can't learn it, right? Uh, black belt's a state of mind. It's not the belt on your waist. So uh, don't waste time. Learn. You guys are young. Might as well learn it all. Okay, back foot is the spinning point. Keep the back foot where it is. Take your right foot all the way around. And then out into a kibirachi. Good, let's do that again. Right foot forward, front stance. Now come over, bring your front foot all the way to your back foot and turn to the other side and go kibirachi. And you're doing low block. You're doing low block when you come around on that kibirachi. I'll show it to you from here. Right foot forward, front stance. Left foot is at the back. I'm going to put my left arm down the same line as my leg, like this, and then I'm going to come together with my feet, and I'm going to do low block in a kibirachi with my right side. Then I take my left arm, and I go underneath my right elbow at the hip, and I use the blade of the hand, and I cut straight through chudan level, middle level, don't go, don't go up, just go level. Keep it on one line, and then turn your wrist here when you get to that edge of your body. And from here it's a Mikazuki Giddy, which is the sole of the foot kicking to the sole of the hand, or the palm of the hand. Okay? So I'd be facing this way, where I just was. And I go here, and then the elbow hits it on the landing. And I land in Kibirachi, and I make sure my feet are on the same line, I'm not landing off. You got to think of a tightrope walker or, or being on a balance beam or on a curb. You have to land right on it like a, you're on a log. Okay? You got to land on the log. Don't fall off of it. It's like a, a tree. Okay? You're walking across a tree. Okay? Like a bridge. Okay? So keep yourself on that, in that bridge position on that, on that, on that tie. Alright? On that rail. Okay? But he's got that. So you've got your elbow. Now I'm gonna bring my left leg into the right leg, cross it, and I'm gonna bring my right arm over and reinforce it. I move back, sorry, we can see this better. Now I take the same leg out again and bring the arm up. So now the stance that I'm in now is no bigger than a natural stance, but it looks like a back stance, okay? I call it the, the captain stance. All right, get that toe up a little. You're up on the toe. See my foot. So I'm getting ready to. I'm getting ready to leap. And, and if we were doing this, you you've got someone up over your shoulder. You remember the tango when when we get to throwing someone off of our back and he and showdown when someone grabs us from behind. Well, here's a practice for that throw. 
You've got their arms up over, you got their arms crisscrossed over your shoulder, monkey on your back, you got those arms up, boom, you're holding on to them. You're holding on to those arms and you got your hand here, and that hand here is like this, and that's holding on to those other arms down on your body. Now from there, you're just gonna go, ah, ah, and throw them down on the ground. And then when we do that, what I'm gonna do is do my jump, land on my right foot, yeah, and I'm doing a cross-legged stance, right foot forward, and a cross hand with right hand on top. Now from here, I go out into my right side, Morotuki front stance, like in Hiyanida. Now this is where we go into similar as before. I'm gonna turn straight behind and cut with the open hands and go straight back, close the hands. So one again. Rotouki. So it's like going around Yakazuki. Right? I'll open the hand and keep it low. Aim by your knee. And this hand is up by your cheek. And then they just pull, shift the weight back. Now this is done with speed, dynamically. I'm doing it in chunks right now because some of you are just learning it. But the rhythm of it is a cutting action like scissors. They go like this. Scissors, right? So I'm doing the same thing. Scissors. Shift in, shift out. Cut with your whole body. Make sense? Reinforce block, right leg forward. Make sure it's your right leg forward. Right arm out. So we turn and we use the right hand and we chop low right by your knee. Cover your face and block something coming to your face with the left. Now from here, pull your weight all the way into your back stance, the same time as your hands pulling back. As the hands cross, close and squeeze the fist tight. Good. For those of us that have been zooming, uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing he and Godin right now, if you weren't zooming in the previous lessons, um, we kind of left off at he and Yon then um, when I took the break. And I did, I did do a little bit of the Godin, we started getting into that, so that's why I'm picking up from where it is. So if some of you are learning well past your belt rank right now, uh, well, what's wrong with that? It's all pages from the same book, so uh, ideally learn them and practice them. And when we get together again, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll decide where you guys are uh, all at and, and so on. Because uh, I'll say, those that are taking the strength of mind, body, and spirit to keep training with me in this time, you guys are definitely earning credit, all right? Um, not just attendance credit, but you're earning a lot of more credit with me um, because you're showing the right kind of spirit of what it takes to become a black belt and not giving up not stopping, not quitting, and, uh, and being part of the team, right? And supporting each other. All right, he go down. Yo, it is a 23 step. Only three moves more than he, he and Sundown. Only two moves more than he and Shodan. Now the complexity of he and Godin, it is equal to a black belt level cup. So, I'll put this in everyone's mind today. If you are a white belt, if you're a yellow belt, if you're even orange and green belt, by doing Hien Godin, you are, in turn, mastering what it takes to be at that black belt stages, or per, like planting the seeds to grow into those stages, okay? So let's do it together, right? Let's start to the left, setting right hand on top, Uchiuki. The foot and hand together. Right away, yes, with the right hand. Come up, left hook. Look to your right. Now drop into that Uchiuki block. That hand's there, so reach with it and block. Punch and move to the right foot and hook. Now just try to get it all smooth in one movement. And foot and hand comes in and punch finishes all at the same time. Now right foot forward. Left foot forward. And left foot slides back a bit as the hands come up. 
Now, take the right hand and come back towards your forehead with it. And then flip your left hand right on top of it. It looks kind of like this. Look like, it looks like a little butterfly movement, right? You go like this. And you flip it over so right hand is still up and left hand's on top. So just take the hand right on the bottom, left on top, and then just flip back to the X. X flips back to the burger and flip it back to the X. And back to the burger, hands flap. And remember when you close your hands, you get your perfect gable grip here. This is one of the, one of the key points in this, uh, this point of the kata, just before the kiai. And what you need to remember, is, and when you're getting this position, okay? And when you get this grip, one, two, you can use it to, to rip. And this grip is how you hold on to someone's neck. This is the best grip you can grab someone uh, around a neck or their body, anywhere. This is our strongest pickup. If you want to pick something up heavy, you need to use this type of a grip because your hands don't break apart easily. This is called the gable grip. It's like clapping your hands class. Let's go through it. We clap the hands. The palms meet together right where they fit. Like It feels like they fit together perfectly when you tilt your hands off to the side. And then squeeze them together and hold them tight. Good. Now open the hands. And we're going to send the left hand in first and step forward, punch key up. Itch, knee, key up. Pivoting on the back heel. Get on the right. So bring this arm, bring this punching hand back, straighten the arm behind. And this arm at the back is the back heel we turn on. Get on the right. Knife hand cutting through. Kick, elbow. Move into the right side, move up, jump, yeah! Forward stance, Maroto. Right around, punch. Now, slowly bring your feet together. This is where we'll continue where we left off. That's just like at the beginning. Your feet slide together, and your hands are here. Now, I'm going to pivot my body forward. I'm going to circle my hands in front, create this shield. So my hands are switching to the other side. I go in, and I make my cut again. And I do it on this side. And then I come up and I make sure my arms go big when I come back to Shazen Bayoi, to the same spot I started. Now, this last sequence can often be broken into one, two, which would then make the cut the 25 steps if we add those two. But it's actually 23. Okay, because this shouldn't be broken into two or else you'll, you'll change the rhythm. It's like taking something that has a timing and going it's not the same in music that's not the same it's not the same arrangement at all so it won't work it doesn't work like that we're in my right Ethan the drummer guy there right you know what I'm saying buddy it doesn't the beats don't work like that even on the street the beats don't work like that either you got to have the rhythm or else the other guy gets it in on you right so you got to be going like this get it yeah like this, your hands just, it's just like when you do this. Think about this. Hey, there's a perfect metaphor, man. Right there, that's a perfect mini. Hey, you know how we do mini shuto uki kata? We just practice that here. There, that's the, that's the mini manji uki. This one, this one, and this one. And it's just like this. Just like when you dust your hands off and you're like, I'm all done with that. Or, I'm all done with you, okay? So, yeah, just like this, you're going boom, boom. So I want to go in like this, boom, and let them, just let them slap, go slap, and then on the way back, slap and close the hands as the feet come up. And, and it just feels nice when you, when you do the, it feels nice when you do it on the way down and back. So slap, and then make contact on the center when you do that. It's great technique. And come back. Make sense, everyone? Doesn't it feel good? Well, you make a little, there's, there's a slap there, and that's how you use it. Go in and... Give it a slap, give it a smack, and then boom, come in and grab. If you're gonna use it percussively, there's the way to do it. Us. Excellent. Any questions about Hugh and Goden? Uh, please, everyone, let's uh, turn microphones on and we'll have uh, um, some question time or discussion or if you wanna say hi, whatever. But if you got questions or something else you would like to ask or something to, your kata, I don't know. But it's time for you to speak though, okay?
We just have to take turns so that uh, we can hear each other, though, okay? So everybody turn your mics on. Logan, you can turn your mic. Ethan, you guys can turn the mic on. And uh, Ian, you've got your mic on. Good. All right. Who wants to start? We have one lady. Let her start first. Alessandra, do you happen to have any questions at all? Did you get that? You were okay with that? Okay, I made a video just before this class of this entire lesson in more detail because I just focused on just recording it for you guys. Okay, so how, put up your hand if you've subscribed to my channel on YouTube. Right now I'm taking a poll. That's zero from everybody? Okay, well my numbers should go up soon then. So uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Just search the name of the school and uh, subscribe and put the notifications on. And what you will get is our lessons. You'll get other content that'll help you train and stay motivated and work at home. So subscribe. And uh, some of you are on Instagram already with me, so there's stuff on there. I have TikTok now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know an old guy on TikTok. Yeah, that's it. Hey, boys. So anyhow, uh, <laughs> it's it's a big time waster, right? Eh? Uh, that TikTok, big time. That's the one thing I've noticed. Don't get too into that, kids. All right. So, uh, but hey, uh, always to uh, to connect at this time. All right. Anybody got a question? That would like to be answered. Yes, Daniel, you have a question. Put up your hand if you want to. You want to ask something, please. How about we raise a hand if you have a question, and then that would be easier for me to go to you. No questions, guys? Ladies, gentlemen? How about anything you're working on? Do you need help with anything at home? Tyler, thank you. I, I like doing the, the Eon cards. I learn something new every time, so I'm good. Can everyone else be quiet for a second? It's very important to learn, too. Okay, just a second, Tyler. You at a higher level. Just a second, Tyler. Does anybody else have background music or a TV on or anything else or someone really talking? Anybody? Alexander? I don't know because there's lots of there's lots of background feedback. So uh, if there's lots of noise in your spot, just turn your mic off because I couldn't hear anything Tyler said. Just a bit of an echo. Sorry, Tyler. Can you can you say your question again, please? I was just saying the the I like doing the Eon cards because you're very important. Even at a higher level. Okay. Even at a higher level. All right. So we, that that that's good. I I agree. Uh, we do have to maintain a hand. And those that are just learning them, you've got to look at them. They're all pages of a chapter in the same book. So um, they've been used to give ranks and belts, but. Uh, understand what they mean they all entail the same story like just like he and Shodan when we we're throwing someone off our back uh, Godin is where we're already at that point everything's just broken down into into really fine pieces that you could easily chew and digest and learn one bit at a time just like when you eat okay so you don't choke on it okay so um, ultimately there's a few things that we can do as I've shown you when we were training and uh, you're dealing with people trying to grab your head and your neck or, or they're further out. And, and then there's the different applications and ways we can apply it based on how far away from home base they're trying to get you. Okay. All right, so I would just ask everyone to just switch your microphones off again if we don't have any other questions. And let's go back. We have a few minutes left. Let's do some more training. If nobody has questions, we'll just we'll just move uh, forward. Technically, I just moved back. Technically, I just moved back. Good. Microphones off, please. Uh, Daniel and Ian, please turn the microphones off or else we're going to get feedback. 
Okay, so we got 10 minutes left. Let's do cut down. Skip. Yoy. So last 10 minutes, let's do kata. And then please, everyone on your own, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you the stretches on your own, please. If we have a few minutes, I'll do some stretches, but continue your stretches on your own and a cool down, please. All right? All right, here and go down. Itch. So if Yoi had a count, it would be 12 and 12 from Kiai to Kiai. Or from start to finish, it'd be like 24 movements, okay? So first Kiai is 12, second Kiai uh, is around that 19 mark, okay? Now, from that point on, what we do from the second Kiai on and there from the first ki are the underlining points. So when we get into this position here and here, this is a big underlining point, feet coming together. And right away you see it repeating this sequence in Basaida as we move on into the more advanced cup here and here. And then it repeats again in Konkudai and you go, hey, wait a second. That's just like in uh, Basa, or that's just like in Hiangode. So um, there, Repetitive principles that you need to remember and develop. And then they change a little bit too, because the way you do it in Godan isn't the same as Basadai, and the way you do it in Basadai isn't the same as it is in uh, Konkudai. So, never is ever anything in one state constantly. It's always changing, just as your kapha is. Skip. Go for it again. I like it. It's nice, it's powerful, and it's short. H. Opposite of what we did in Godan. Go! Just like that. 
Looks like you need a rook. Tuck it in your back pocket, in the small of the back. Spin into it, pop it out, and strike with this hand. Good. Keep it that hand and the feet in a nice straight line with the feet. Punch him, Kiak. Come up into your right foot. So right heel stays where it is, back foot comes up. The complete opposite of he and Godin. Godin is exactly the opposite. This one here is back foot comes up into the front. Now from here, right knee, right knee, right elbow, right fist. Left knee, right elbow, left elbow, left fist. Again, here, clear punch. Come up, one, two, Kiai. Only 20 movements, he and Sundan. I feel we do this one again. So easy, so small. One. And it's a complete opposite of Godin. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Instead of being down here, we're up in the middle. Instead of low, we're chuden. Nine. Instead of doing this, still the same thing, but behind your back. Instead of being down low, we're here. So you can see how Godin and Sundown are alike. That's the key eye, it's the same foot, same hand, just like in Godin. First key eye. Come up, edge. Knees up. She go. Roots edge. Touch. Good. Two. Chia. Good. Right? Excellent. Okay, a little stretch. Okay. Grab the toe. Switch. Grab the toe. Good, excellent, slide it out. Give yourself a big stretch. And back up on the heels. And sit down. Reach over to the one side and bring your arm up over. And change. And forwards. And in, butterfly. Back straight. Pull the heels in as close as you can get them. Sit tall. Sit tall. And, hey, caterpillars. Heels on the ground. Up and down with the knees. Up and down with the knees. Keep the hands up. Keep the hands up. Don't touch the floor. Good. Bring it in. Grab your feet. Sit tall. And butterfly with the knees. Good. Cross the leg over. Give it a squeeze. Hug it to your chest. Hug it right into your heart. Bring and hug that knee right into your heart. Sit up tight, sit up tall and push your heart out into your knee. Breathe. Switch. Squeeze it, grab it with the other arm. Opposite arm grabs the leg, come in and cross it and tuck your arms in just like you're holding on to someone's neck. Hey Tyler, I'm going to give it a squeeze. And sit up tall, push your chest into it just like you would if you were holding on to someone. Okay? See now we're partner training without a partner. Okay, let's give that knee a squeeze. If you uh, check out my YouTube channel and Instagram, I did an episode uh, in one of our Zooms, maybe you did it with me, I can't remember, but uh, a lesson with a soccer ball. You guys take a soccer ball, basketball, volleyball, something from home, and you can do your kata with it. It's just like doing partner work, sparring. Um, it's very, very good. And it's, it's not even my idea, it's ancient. It's a Shaolin thing, it's nothing new, okay? Um, so it's a, it's a Kung Fu thing. So. Uh, using it and squeezing on it and holding on to it. Um, perhaps maybe the sports originated from that. All right, back out with a shake. And over on the knees and lift up. <sighs> Stand her up. All right, 
Let's keep. Now, all right. Excellent class. Thanks very much. You all did a wonderful job. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you in the next class. Us. Keep training at home. Keep practicing hard. Thank you.